Hello, I'm Bill Laveris. I'm the content director of the Enterprise CIO Forum. And I'm very happy to be joined here today by a friend and colleague from IDG, Michael Friedenberg, who was CEO of IDG Communications US. He's also the publisher of CIO Magazine and CIO.com. Michael, thank you very much for joining me here today. Great to be here, Bill. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about CIOs and strategic partnering today. Absolutely. Historically, Michael, and we've both been around the industry for a long time, CIOs have generally dealt with one major paradigm shift at a time. So it was PCs back 25 years ago, and then client-server computing, and then the internet and the web and so forth. And now it seems they're dealing with multiple of these at once, cloud computing, the explosion of mobility, consumerization of IT, and big data lurking over the horizon. Looking at the past, what does it tell you about how they're going to deal with this today? Well, the one thing I can tell, say for certain is that it's not business as usual, right? So uh, I would say over the past few years, the past five, ten years, technology has really been used to save money. How can you consolidate your data centers? How can you standardize your systems? How you can find efficiencies within your overall organization? That has really shifted to now leveraging technology to drive revenue growth and deepen customer engagement. Mm -hmm. So now as technologies are moving from core to edge, and getting closer to the customer, just like cloud, social, mobile, big data, consumerization of IT. These are all technologies that are touching your customer, be they wholesaler, distributor, customer, or end consumer. This is the way that technology is moving, and thus senior level IT executives, senior level business executives, and overall businesses need to react to that. Mm -hmm. well, let's actually probe that a little bit. Um, we're talking about you know not business as usual, a new style of IT, if you will. Um, and I would imagine that defines a new style of relationship, say between the CIOs and the line of business managers and executive management. How is that going to be changing? Well, I can just tell you over the past few years, the best friend for the CIO used to be the CFO. And now all of a sudden you're hearing all the chatter about CIOs and chief marketing officers getting much more closely aligned. And that all has to do with how technology is moving from the back office to the front lines. Uh, and that's really where true alignment needs to occur between your senior level IT executives and your IT organization and your business peers. That's something that really has been talked about for years, but I can't believe that it still hasn't been solved. So now that alignment, or what I even like to say convergence between IT and the business truly needs to happen in order to, for you to achieve true business value. Right, if, if IT is going to be involved in more strategic direction setting for the company, if there's a misalignment between what the marketing people are seeing out there and what IT is driving, you got a problem. Huge problem. Huge, huge problem. And I think that's where you're finding most of your true value being driven out of the IT organization right now. Because historically, they've really been looked at as operators, right? So if you look at the archetypes that a CIO or an IT organization looks at, it's usually operational, transformational, and then the business strategist. Yeah. And over for the past few years, it's primarily just been at the operational level of how can I make sure that my systems are secure and sound and stable. Mm -hmm. Now it's all about getting into the transformation element of how can I automate business processes? How can I get closer to my customer? How can I be a business strategist and drive true new revenue, incremental revenue, and profit? to the bottom line. 